What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Today we're taking a look at Polkadot and its recent price action and make sure to watch the video till the end for a price prediction for the short and the long term as well. First things first, please smash the likes, subscribe and hit the bell icon. YouTube is not pushing crypto content out currently and our subscribers aren't getting notifications. So make sure to join our free Telegram to stay up to date with all of our videos as they are posted. Links in the description. It really helps if you hit the like. We're posting four videos per day, so come back every day for daily updates and analysis. And make sure to comment down below for your chance to win a hardware wallet in our new monthly giveaway. We'd also like to thank you all so, so much for your support. We've just hit 10k subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, we're just letting you know that YouTube is currently censoring our content from what we can tell. Our reach to new viewers is officially down around 80% lower than what it was a month ago. We thought this was initially just due to a lack of interest in crypto right now because we are going down and sideways, but it does seem as though our reach is basically being massively hampered despite there. There's actually a really good amount of search volume still for content, but our content isn't being pushed out to people, even our subscribers. So make sure to hit the like button, it just really helps us with the algorithm. So make sure just to smash the like button now. It takes like two seconds and it really, really helps us out. We've also just hit 10k subscribers, so thank you all so, so, so much for your support. We really, really appreciate all of you. If there's anything that we can do to make these videos better or give you guys more value, then please, please let us know down in the comments below and we'd be happy to take a look at that. And uh, please make sure to check back to the channel every day because you might not be getting notified of our videos. We post four videos every single day, pretty much without fail. Or you can join our free Telegram in the description and we'll, you'll get updates of all of our videos as they're posted there as well. So with that all being said, thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, so let's take a look at Poly, uh, Polkadot here, as we can see, looking at the daily time frame here. And pretty much ever since the 19th of May, we have flipped bearish on our EMAs here. As you can see, we've basically been in a downtrend, getting stuck under our 20 EMA here, which has been forcing us to roll over and roll over. And as you can see, we have actually found support at a previous swing low area. Oh my God. Let me just put a line in here. We have found support at a previous swing low area of around, what is this here, $13? Wow, that is absolutely, I mean, a po polka dot has been absolutely crushed recently, hasn't it? This is absolutely insane. I mean, if you look at the, the what's the all-time high here? It's around $50, so, I mean, we're down like, what is this, 70% still? I mean, for a, a project of polka dot's uh, caliber, this is absolutely insane. I mean, what an, <laughs> what an absolute discount. I believe that we bought um, most of our polka dot at around, uh, first six or seven dollars back at the start of the year around in around December January time here as you can see so we're we're still up around 3x on our investment but quite clearly this is a huge huge rollover for, po for polka dot here as you can see we've pretty much gone straight over like this had a kind of a sideways accumulation phase but then the big uh, dump to the downside has been pretty brutal as we can see but from what we can tell we could be forming a very very nice bullish divergence here for polka dot from what we can tell so if we just take a look at our chart here, I really hate how fiddly these things are sometimes. Let me just zoom in on this so you can see a bit better. Obviously, we've had our price action rolling over here, making lower lows. But as you can see, we have actually been making potentially higher highs, uh, higher lows, sorry, higher lows on our RSI here. So this could potentially here be one of a, basically a very, very big bullish divergence over a long period of time here, as you can see. We've also been getting lower lower highs on our RSI. So obviously we've been stuck in a downtrend right now on our RSI, something like this, as you can see. We're basically bouncing here, struggling to get any momentum to the upside on the daily time frame here. So quite clear that we're going to reach an impasse pretty soon with our RSIs coming to meet each other here. Most likely going to see something like this. We're going to have a big, uh, decent move to the up upside or downside, depending on what happens. But I think considering look at the, looking at the chart here, uh, it's been a long time since we've been overbought. A long, long time. As you can see, the last time we were overbought here was in February for Polkadot. We, you could actually class this April the uh, April the fourth area here as overbought as well. But it's pretty obvious when you see all this that there was um, big hallmarks of a potential reversal incoming. Obviously, as you can see, we got really, really overbought, and then we actually were forming some uh, bearish divergences here. As you can see, we actually had higher highs on our chart, but lower highs on our RSI. And in the same way as a bullish divergence, when you get uh, lower lows on your chart, but higher lows on your RSI. This is basically the reverse. So as you can see, our price action was forcing its way up slowly, 
but the momentum to the upside was decreasing and this was a good signal of a reversal. Obviously no one expected it to be as harsh or as crazy as this, but this was actually telegraphed quite well in the charts and if you put a short in uh, at the top of this with this big bearish divergence, you would have done extremely well here. So quite clearly there is a lot of um, a lot to be learned from analysis. You could potentially have predicted some of these big movements in the market. And this was quite a textbook bearish divergence. You can see it quite clearly here. This is a really, really clean one on the daily time frame, but obviously these don't come around all the time because the daily time frame takes a long time to set up. But we do think we are forming somewhat of a bullish divergence here. As you can see, we are very oversold right now in general for Polkadot. We've not been this oversold since the March crash from what we can tell. Obviously our charts for po the charts for Polkadot aren't very, uh, aren't very long on TradingView, which is what we're using by the way. So it's quite, we can't actually get an idea of what we looked like in, um, in March 2020, but from what we can tell, basically we're the most oversold that we've ever been right now for Polkadot. And as we said, price action like this for any crypto is not sustainable. Obviously everyone, um, everyone loves it when the price action is going straight up like this, but we can come down just as fast. But also there is an equilibrium in the market and there will come a point where the bears get way too greedy and the bulls will come and basically get super aggressive with a bounce to the upside. And we do think this is probably coming quite soon. We've had a nice little bounce for Bitcoin from like 30K to 34 and a half, 35K in the, basically in the past day or so. So it's pretty clear there's still a huge amount of demand for crypto. Uh, I think there's just a lot of people waiting on the sides to see what's going to happen. But as we said, the bears are getting quite greedy recently. And uh, with Polkadot being as oversold as it is right now, we are predicting that it's more likely than not that we're going to get a reversal quite soon. We're not saying that this is going to happen overnight and we're not saying that this is uh, definitely going to happen. We could still go lower. This is a possibility. But what we're saying is as we continue to come lower and lower, if that's the case, the more there's more and more chance of us getting a reversal basically because we're getting very, very oversold here on our daily time frame. And this is quite a good indicator in our opinion that we are basically reaching a point where the bulls are most likely going to start to come back into the market and buy the dip. Because I mean, this is a huge discount on on Polkadot. You could basically buy this and get like a two x, two x, two and a bit x back to the all time high. So I mean, if you like Polkadot for the long term, this is an incredible entry point. I mean, we're still down seventy percent from the all time high here. So I mean, abs not financial advice, of course, but I mean, if you like Polkadot for the long term, and we really think this is going to be around in the next five to ten years, doing very very well, then I mean, at what an absolutely incredible entry point for Polkadot in our opinion. This is absolutely insane. We do think this is going to do extremely well in the long term. But obviously with the amount of fear in the market right now, everyone thinks that the prices are going to go lower. But in our opinion, we just don't see it considering how oversold we are right now. We think there's just too many bulls waiting on the sidelines. And I think if the bears get too greedy, they are going to start to get wrecked when that eventual bounce does come because it does seem like it's becoming more and more likely. So if we just take a look at the weekly time frame here. <clears throat> For some reason, the, uh, the RSI, the red, 55 moving average has not actually uh, has not actually materialized here for some reason, probably because there's not enough price history on this chart. But from what we can tell, uh, the 50 moving average has probably done something like this, where basically it's held support, held support like you do in a bull market, you hold the 55 moving average as support. And then obviously we've had this big move to the upside. And what's probably most likely the case is we've, our 55s probably come up something like this. And we're currently bouncing in and around it. I do think Polkadot is very, very oversold right now. And it's pretty clear that uh, in the next week or so, we do want to see it obviously getting back above the 55. Obviously, this is just a um, this is just a guesstimation of what where the 55 probably is, but it's probably looking something like this, where we're bouncing in and around the 55 right now and back testing it as support. And what we would really want to see is obviously holding the 55 and moving to the upside because that's a quite a clear indication we're still in the bull market. But obviously, if we do roll over under the 55 and start bouncing against it and hitting our head, as uh, Coins Kid would say, then it's pretty clear that we're going to start having um major issues and we could be looking at a potential bear, very bearish pattern for some time maybe even a bear market with obviously if you get the the cross of the 20 and the 55 on the weekly uh, you're looking pretty bearish in our opinion and you're probably going to struggle to see any meaningful upwards price action but i do see, i do think we're getting extremely oversold right now as you can see we've been we're just ridiculously oversold on pretty much every time frame so it does seem very likely the reversal is coming pretty soon so let's just take a look at the hourly time frame see what we can see um it seems like we basically uh, bought, I mean, $13, man. That's absolutely insane for Polkadot. We have actually flipped bullish here on our EMAs. We have got that nice little pickup for Bitcoin over the past day or so. We did get the week, um, the weekly, the monthly, and the quarterly close for futures on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So 
Obviously, there was a lot of bearish price momentum for that that dragged the price of basically everything down, including uh, Polkadot here. I mean, we've been in a bearish trend for Polkadot for some time, haven't we? The last time that we flipped bullish on, on Polkadot, we were actually sitting at around $21 here. And then we got this nice little bump, but then we flipped bearish. And since then, we've just been selling off and selling off, stuck under the, the 20 here. And then we got stuck under the 55, stuck under the 55. We've basically just been rolling over and rolling over this whole time. But it does look as though we've actually broken out here and back-tested support. We're currently back-testing the 55 here as support. I mean, if this could hold, we've obviously flipped bullish on our EMAs here as well. If Basically, if this could back-test here and hold, we could be looking at some nice upside here for Polkadot potentially. Obviously, as we keep saying, we do think Polkadot is reaching a point where it's just getting crazy oversold. A project of this caliber has basically been 70% down from its all-time high in about a month. It's absolutely ridiculous in our opinion. And it does seem likely the reversal is probably going to come quite soon. So, as you can see on our hourly time frame here, things aren't looking great. But, I mean, we could potentially be looking at something like a double bottom here. Or even a double bottom on a, on a shorter time frame, something like this, basically, with a wider double bottom. Potentially going to get a move to the upside. But as we said, we're just looking so oversold right now in the whole market. And with Bitcoin looking fairly bullish today, we could be looking at a nice little bit of upside for, po for Polkadot if we do uh, see that bounce for Bitcoin. So short term, obviously, it's really difficult to know because Polkadot is just largely um, being led by Bitcoin right now. But obviously, in the long term, we do think Polkadot's going to be a top, top project. I mean, we can't imagine that Polkadot's going to be any less than 200 300 maybe even $400 in the next year or so. It's launching its full main net for smart contracts over the summer. And with the bull run getting back underway as well, we do think this project is going to do absolutely amazingly in the long term. I mean, five to 10 years down the road, we do think this is a project that could be easily over $1,000 per, to per token. Obviously, that doesn't seem likely now, considering the price action that we're seeing. But I mean, even if we just kept on the current trajectory that we're looking at for argument's sake here, as you can see, we are bouncing in and around this historical uh, point of um, support here, which is interesting to see. We'd literally just drew this line in and as you can see, we are actually forming a very, very nice pattern here where we're basically bouncing in and around this historical support. So I'm guessing this is probably a, a place that we're back testing nicely as well. But as you can see, if we just kept going on like this, let's just say, is this correct? Let me just put this on the weekly so it's easier to do. On the weekly time frame here, let's get rid of the squiggle. If we just draw this out for a bit longer, as you can see, even if we just kept on the same trajectory that we're on now for the next five or 10 years, you can quite clearly see that um, Obviously, we're going to have a very, very nice price to target for Polkadot in the next five years if this was the case. I'm not necessarily sure that we're going to reach uh, 50k per, per token for Polkadot um, in the next five years. But obviously, if we kept on this trend for even the next year, we would be looking at a decent price for Polkadot. Obviously, um, at least $100, $200 here, as you can see. But we do think it's probably going to go much higher because obviously, as you can see, usually what happens is you move away and then you come back and back test the trend line. You get the big pump and then you back test the trend line. And obviously, if we get the when the bull run continues, which we do think it will, we're probably going to get a big move away from the trend line. Something like this, where you get really, really overextended. Then going into the like maybe the next year or so, we get really, really overextended, probably into this foot um, between 300 and seven or 800 for Polkadot, in our opinion, maybe even a thousand, depending on how much of a pump that it does get. Um, obviously. We're going to be seeing some very, very nice upside for Polkadot and then it'll probably fall back to test the trend line. And then obviously if we hit, if we enter a bear market, we will be um, potentially breaking down below the trend line and, and uh, falling to back test previous supports as we go into a prolonged bear market. But as you can see, we do think Polkadot is just crazy oversold right now. It's quite clear here that like, we've just not been this oversold basically ever. So pretty obvious to us that um, the reversal is coming. It's just a question of when really. Obviously everyone's been saying when, um, why your video is not coming true, why is the reversal not happening? And obviously, we're not predicting this is going to happen overnight. This could be prolonged over a period of uh, days, weeks, or maybe even the next month or so, depending on how things go for Bitcoin. But we do think that considering how oversold the market is right now, the reversal is quite likely. So that's our update today, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please let us know down in the comments section below. Please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can keep up to date with all of our videos. Remember to comment down below and be subscribed to enter into our brand new monthly giveaway for a hardware wallet. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, please sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below or sign up to YouTube membership by hitting the join button right next to the sub below this video where you can get access to our private discord. We're offering coin calls, one to one access to us personally, insight into our personal portfolio, daily research of crypto assets with massive potential 
and access to our brand new 100x portfolio. With so many benefits, you might as well check it out below. Don't forget to get two free stocks with Weeble by signing up and then depositing $100 using our link in the description below. You can quite literally deposit the $100, get your two free stocks and then withdraw the money. So there's no reason not to do that and they could be valued all the way up to $1,600 each. But don't forget to actually deposit as well after signing up, otherwise you won't receive the second stock. Scammers get worse every day so make sure to protect yourself and your crypto online with pure VPN. Sign up below for some big discounts. You can get access to block content and protect yourself from phishing scams with super low monthly payments and high quality speeds. You can also sign up to our free telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.